And now, your first alert weather. In the valleys, it's been a mostly sunny and warm weekend, leading into a nice clear night out tonight to wrap up Sunday. Right now, Idaho Falls just having a little bit of sunset in the background out towards the west. Clear skies and 69 degrees with light winds at 5 miles an hour. Mixed in with just a little bit of haze, but even the haze we're expecting to improve on heading into the work week. Overall, in the Viper Red, see lots of rain showers out across the western half of the United States. Yet, here locally, we're actually drying things up in for the night ahead. You see a little bit of some sprinkles up in a Highland Park around Jackson, and some of that's around Salmon as well. But besides that, that's all we're looking at wet weather-wise locally here in central and eastern Idaho. You do notice lots of heavy rain showers and also thunderstorms out covering Boise moving northward up in further north in further north into the northern half of the state. Yet this could affect parts of central Idaho heading into the night ahead. We'll show you what happens here in the Vipercast. Heading into the overnight hours tonight around 2, 3, 4 a.m. We'll look at some of those moderate to heavy rain showers affecting parts like Salmon and Chalice, maybe Stanley and Ketchum out tonight. Meanwhile, the rest of the region looks to stay fairly dry, and this is going to continue to slide northward, so this isn't even going to hit the Snake River Plain or out towards western Wyoming really at all. In fact, tomorrow afternoon, we're still looking at more chances of rain showers. The low pressure center that's just around us right now is going to try to give us some good bits of moisture here into the work week as well. For Monday, we'll look for spotty showers up towards the Continental Divide and maybe out for western Wyoming. But overall, we keep most of everybody dry out for Monday and Tuesday, except for some rain showers that will look to come into the afternoon in parts of the southern highlands, southeastern Idaho, and the mountains of western Wyoming. We'll look for some greater chances for rain, most likely for the valleys heading later into the work week. As for the haze, we're expecting most of it to start leaving by the overnight hours tonight as we're starting to pick up a good wind out of the south. Most of our wind has been dragged from the north, bringing in the haze into our region. Not only is the wind going to change direction in the next few days, but we're also going to have some breezy conditions on top of that that's going to help to quickly push out mo much of the smoke out of the region here by tomorrow afternoon and the rest of the work week is looking good in terms of haze uh, the haze not coming back at all either as we're actually going to look to calm down the winds for Tuesday and Wednesday yet again most of the smoke and haze is going to be gone by then which is great news to hear 76 degrees McCammon 73 for Lava Hot Springs 72 for Soda Springs lows tonight getting down to the 40s and places like St. Anthony Ashton with highs tomorrow around 75 in Ashton 78 tomorrow afternoon in Salmon 73 in Arco and lastly, for the Snake for playing, we have highs in the upper 70s with lows down into the 50s for the early morning hours. In the 8-day forecast in black, but 78 degrees. Highs staying put in the 70s throughout the work week. The rain chances don't change too much either, except we're expecting a little greater chance of rain heading into Wednesday and Thursday compared to tomorrow. Rexburg, 40% chance of rain showers and thunderstorms out tomorrow. Some windy conditions out there. 50% chance of rain showers and thunderstorms later in the week on Wednesday and Thursday. Jackson, windy, partially rainy out tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon, 72 degrees is the high. Highs are down to the upper 60s for the rest of the work week. Salmon, 78 tomorrow. 40% chance of rain showers and thunderstorms out tomorrow afternoon with windy conditions. And then we're looking at a nice dry day for your Tuesday with a high of 75 degrees before getting more rain later in the week. Pocatello, 78 degrees, 40% chance of rain tomorrow. You see those rain chances carrying on all throughout the rest of the work week there. I'm expecting mainly the greatest rain chances for the valleys on Wednesday and Thursday. Only a slim chance of really getting a rain shower out tomorrow afternoon. 78 is the high tomorrow. Those highs stay in the 70s throughout the work week. And unfortunately, yes, we're looking at rain chances next week, but at least most of the haze will be gone. Now send it over to Cole with Lucas Sports.